Authorities in the U.S. are investigating a fatal shooting on Saturday night at a park in downtown Louisville, Kentucky, where demonstrators had gathered to protest the death of Breonna Taylor, a black woman who was shot in her home by police. Reports of shots fired at Jefferson Square Park were made around 9 p.m., Louisville Metro Police said, and Jefferson County Sheriff's Department officers performed life-saving measures on a man who died at the scene. Another shooting victim across the street at the Hall of Justice was taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Video posted on social media appeared to show a man opening fire into the park as people scrambled for cover. The footage later showed at least one person bleeding profusely on the ground. Police gave no information about arrests, possible suspects and the victims' identities and ages. I am deeply saddened by the violence that erupted in Jefferson Square Park tonight, where those who have been voicing their concerns have been gathered, the Louisville mayor, Greg Fisher said. It is a tragedy that this area of peaceful protest is now a crime scene. The park has for weeks been the heart for protests in the city after the police killings of Taylor and George Floyd. The Saturday night shooting was at least the second during nearly a month of protests in Louisville over Taylor's death. Seven people were wounded the 28th of May when gunfire erupted near City Hall, prompting a statement from Taylor's mother asking people to demand justice without hurting each other. Praying for our city, tweeted Charles Booker, the Kentucky State Representative of Louisville. The Democrat is running for his party's nomination to challenge Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell in the fall. Taylor, 26, was killed in her Louisville home in March by police who were serving a no-knock warrant. Protesters have been calling for the officers involved in her death to be charged. One of the officers was recently fired. Kenneth Walker, Taylor's boyfriend, was originally charged with attempted murder after he fired a shot at one of the officers. Walker has said he thought he was defending the home from an intruder. The no-knock search warrant that allows police to enter without first announcing their presence was recently banned by Louisville's Metro Council.